Hey everyone, welcome to Quick Tip with Joy. Today I'm gonna to teach you about layering. So, first layer, if you want uh, to have several layers, is just take a time and uh, write yourself. It doesn't have to, it doesn't have to say anything. It could say, it could say, and it's all sloppy writing, you know? You just put whatever you want. Put what ever you want on this page. You're going to cover it up anyway. Hello. Let's put hi there. So that would be your first layer. That's a good start. Then second layer. I just, I have on my desk when I'm layering, I have little bits and bobs. This is just fabrics, laces, pieces. I have uh, anything. I have fuzzies. I have um uh, cheesecloth, flowers, you name it. I also have little pieces of paper. I have book pages. Book page is always a good way to start. Actually, let's start that way. Book page. You want to um, ink around the edges always first. And Well, you may not. Maybe you don't like inking. I don't know, but I like to ink. So, and I like to tear. I don't like a perfect edge. And another tip that I always do is the book page is not intended to be read. So don't worry about it being read. You know, put it upside down. I always put mine upside down. Not always, but most of the time. So layering is so simple when you have lots of little stuff and you don't throw away all that stuff in your projects. You know, when you get done with a project, save all that stuff. Make a little pile. Let's see. Um, I might I might go along this way. And this is just some sort of specialty paper. I have a little piece hanging out. And I'm just using PVA book glue, book making glue. That's all I'm using. And I just want to show you on this little project how much I can put on it to um, just, you know, have something. I usually try to use uh, different, various things around, you know, a little bit of lace, a little bit of book page, a little bit of whatever. You can use whatever. Now, some of the things that, like if you're using something like this, rubber cement might actually be a better glue to use because it can go through this. Let me find my rubber cement. It will actually go through and uh, you can wipe it off afterwards. So that's another little tip there. My kitty is being very cantankerous over here. I'm just going to put this on and it doesn't do as well on the fabric-y stuff. But, and you do have to hold it down a moment longer than you would normally. So never fear but it does wipe off really nicely. We always used the rubber cement when we were young uh, in school, and I think that was the reason. So I just use good old Elmer's. I got fuzzy wuzzies on me. Fuzzy wuzzies on me. All right, we'll cut off all the outside edges when we're done. No big deal. And just layer, 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 layer. Just find stuff to put on there. Uh, strings. Strings are a good thing. Oh, that's a tea bag. <laughs> I have a little bit of everything around here. Hold on. I'm going to just go in a circle. That's not on there 100%, but we're going to get it there. Don't worry. I'm going to start this this way. This is just Aunt Lydia thread. And, oops, there it is. Whoop, there it is. Hold on. We're going to get it there. It's just not working well with me in the moment. There we go. But layering can be so easy if you just check around you and and keep your little bits and pieces of what you normally would throw away. A lot of people say that they just don't want to keep all that stuff. But um, you can find a use for it if you do. And I should not use these scissors because they're about dead. There we go. I'm going to just roll across it. That will that will die anyway. 
And I don't like a straight edge. So if there's a straight edge, I usually find something else to stick on it. You know, some little something. Here's a little piece of fuzz, a little piece of fuzz. I'm just gonna stick that on there and cut it off on the edge. I try to avoid the, the sharp edges when I'm working because I really don't care for them. I think they take away from the project. Uh, you know, your eye goes straight for that and then you're like, ugh, what is that? Like these here, I need to get rid of those as well. Use your sharpest scissors to get rid of all that little extra bit. Or you might like it hanging off, you know, you never know. Let's see, what else can I use? I'm looking in my little pile. I usually just keep a lot of little stuff. Um, you know, I kind of want to use a little piece of fuzz. Little pieces of fuzz are good. I'm going to put this one over here. Oops, that's a lot of glue. Let's get rid of some of that. There we go. That goes there. I might go ahead and put this little piece that I cut off from the other part up here. And voila, we have a layered project. Sweet and simple. Add a little tab on there and you're good to go. What do you think? If you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, you know the drill. <laughs> subscribe, ring the bell, and I thank you for being here, and I will see you next time. Remember, your day is full of choices, so choose joy.